Hi, today in this video, we will learn how to fit a multiple linear regression in R. For this, we take a data set which is inbuilt in R with the name of stack loss. So first, let us invoke the data set. The name of the data set is stack loss. And have a look of the data set by writing head of stack loss that gives me the first six entries yeah so here the stack dot loss is the dependent variable that finds the stack loss this is for some water some chemical plant where the explanatory variables that enter into the model are airflow water temperature and the acid concentration these three explanatory variables enter into the model and predict the stack loss for this chemical plant so what we want to do is to find a relationship between these four variables so the first is to estimate a multiple li multiple linear regression equation. So in R, that can be done with the LM function. We've already seen in the case of a simple linear regression how the LM function fits a model. Here also with the same LM function, we can estimate the multiple regression equation. So I write say stack clause dot LM is equal to LM the linear model where I'm regressing st stack dot loss on the variables air dot flow plus water dot tem plus acid dot concentration. So this is the dependent variable stack dot loss and these three are the independent variables comma the data is stack loss so this is the equation so i can have a look of the fitted multiple regression equation like this sorry it should be stack loss dot lm so with this we have a look of the result what we found from fitting of the multiple regression equation the intercept is minus 39.9 and the coefficients for the, these three explanatory variables are 0.71 1.2 and minus 0.15 respectively now suppose the question which we have in hand is that after we fitted this model and found the values of the coefficients I have the given values of these three explanatory variables and for that I want to find the corresponding value of the dependent variable. Say I have three values given for the explanatory variables and I want to find the value of the dependent variable from this fitted estimated multiple regression equation. So I save those values in a variable, say new data is that variable which is storing these as a data frame. So I write new data dot data frame is equal to given the values are airflow is equal to say 72 comma water dot temp is equal to say 20 and acid dot concentration is equal to 85 these are the values given and for the corresponding values of these explanatory variables i want to find the value of the dependent variable using this fitted multiple regression equation so how do i do that with the same function or predict how we had used in the previous case i write stack loss dot lm using which values the values which are contained in new data so i write comma new data and the predicted value which i receive is 24.58 that means after having fitted the regression equation we see that if the values of the explanatory variables are 72 20 and 85 respectively the corresponding value of y the corresponding value of the stack loss is 24.58 so with this, we've been able to predict the value of the dependent variable given the values of the independent variable. Now, suppose I want to find out the value of the multiple coefficient of determination for this case. So, as we all know, when there's a multiple linear regression, the coefficient of determination is called the multiple coefficient of determination. How do we do that? As we've seen in the previous video, for the case of a simple linear regression, the same thing happens here. 
we can write summary of stack loss dot lm dollar r squared and we get the value to be 91.35 percent that means the fitted model has an r square value of 91.35 percent suppose now we want to find the value of the adjusted coefficient of determination here the adjusted coefficient of determination can be found in the same way by writing summary of stack loss dot lm dollar adjusted adj dot r squared and I get the value to be 89.83 percent. The test of significance the test of significance for this case can again be done by observing the values, the p-values of the fitted coefficients and that can be seen from the summary function. So I write summary of stack loss dot lm and I get these p-values for the corresponding betas. So I see that all the p-values here are less than 0 0.05 which means that they are all statistically significant in the multiple linear regression model and all significantly explain the variations in the dependent variable. Similar to the previous case where we tried fitting the confidence interval and the prediction interval, we'll try to find out the confidence interval for this multiple linear regression case. What we do is to first fit the values of the independent variable. So say new data is equal to data dot frame of the values are air dot flow is equal to 72, say water dot temp is equal to 20 and acid dot concentration is equal to 85. Then I predict these values stack loss dot lm using the new data values keeping the interval is equal to confidence. Thus the fitted values 24.5 and the lower and the upper bounds are 20.2 and 28.9 respectively. With this we fitted a 95% confidence interval. The same can be done for the case of a prediction interval by, where I just have to replace this with predict and the same values of the new data enter and we find that the predicted value is 24.5 and the lower and the upper bound values are 16.4 and 32.6 respectively. So we've seen the fitting of a multiple linear regression, the estimation, the coefficient of determination, the adjusted coefficient of determination, the significance test, the confidence and the prediction interval in R. Thank you.